Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk clumps for her Wigamel potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her, and for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. Wonder who lives here. I had plenty of opportunities to pursue anything I wanted. They've taken your life before you even realize it's gone. Here we are. Mr. Weeks wasn't wrong about the mountain views. What are you up to now? There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. 
Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Rebellion. Day's gone on too long. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Off on another adventure, are we? Levioso. Levioso. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Rebellion. You made it. Enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside.
Ah! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. Now look what you've done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. He thinks he can help Anne, oh, but nothing can be done for her. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children, especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. Sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I, I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <sighs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh dear, Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother... and me... in line. <sighs> I do miss Hogwarts. But I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home... it's not the cozy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me, and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'm afraid it's really up to Sebastian, and his mind seems to be made up. I can only hope he realizes the futility of his search for a cure soon. 
I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I know he's angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best for Anne. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. And Gringo! Dead my book. Ah! Who is it? Ah! Ah! Confringo! No! was a bit more than I'd bargained for. I tried to warn you.
Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelt smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The Loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Revelio. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. <sighs> Whose home was this? A bit abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. To look at the house itself. Revelio. This well looks familiar. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl, and a drought. The Keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the Keepers. The Keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the Vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by Keepers. Oh. And this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I'd think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Accio!
the pulse up. Huh, a stairwell. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. It tells me they're after something bigger. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. A journal entry of Isadora's. I should hold on to this. Revelio. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. I know it sounds strange, but... Honestly, I... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it and that you couldn't wield it. That's true. And I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago. And Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but... I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Rebellion. Rebellion.
Meet me near the ruins of Falbottom Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. student would help me with my sad predicament. Chairs in the common room are So much better when it gets oh, dark. Nice to see you, my young I spent friend. All night in that astronomy tower, if they'd let me. How can you not be absolutely fascinated with the stars? On you, as a trusted oh, ally and me. friend. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies, Professor Shah, astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight, we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Hello. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. 
Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first-rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I... I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. A lot of good that did. How am I supposed to find Sirius when my hands are too cold to use a telescope? A dog, isn't it? Incendio. This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. Ah, <sighs> a pristine night for stargazing. The perfect night for... I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. I had a feeling there would be a catch to that telescope. No, no. I, I certainly wasn't trying to bribe you or anything. But are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform. Something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am. Charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Hmm. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. Revelling. It's not as tidy as I expected. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Look, oh, no. there's a table. Not this close to school, I mean. I think you should do the honors. 
Go on, try it out. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Incredible! Ah, <sighs> never do get tired of seeing the astronomy tower at night. What a view.
There's a victory that came none too soon. Ugh. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Inside. Oh, watch yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little dears. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available?
Those will be safe with me, until they're sold. Then you'll have to make do with money. You're a force to be reckoned with, aren't you? Scaring all the goblins away. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Hogsmeade, here I come. What are you up to now?
Rebellion. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Revelio. I just wish they'd hurry up and assign the essay on werewolves. When are we getting to that? I tried. Rebellion. What is the reason for these additions? They're meant to help you hone your magical skills outside of the classroom, thus preparing you to learn a new charm. When Guardium l before we plant the seed, we must till the soil. When you're finished with them, come and see me and we'll work on the charm together. I look forward to it.
family's hour is getting too old. Am I missing? Rebellion. I do not all of the common ones. I'm not a fan of mine, and frankly, I find the decor quite depressing. Lumos. Let me answer. Rebellion. An astronomy table. Should prove useful once the sun's down. Incendium! Ah. Oh. Lumo! Incendium. Lumos. Lumos. Ah. Incendium.
Revelio. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Castle must have been quite stately in its time. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. to see you again. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. 
Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. to practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set some crates out for you in the next room. Revelio. Professor Garlic. Apologies, Professor. Perhaps. What are you up to now? Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Yeah. <laughs> 
in the wizarding world. Rebellion. Incendio. Leviosa. Incendio. Lumos. Rebellion. Would you like to learn the knockback jinx flippendo? Once you've completed the necessary tasks, come and find me in the greenhouse.
Lumos. Revelio. This looks intriguing. On another adventure, are we? Psst, over here, quietly. I am glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Lassie, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the Hulk's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And after you told me that Rookwood and Harlow were after you, I decided that you were the perfect person to join me in taking them down, for good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow is here after all. Rebellion.
what that does. The Tulsa. That did it. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. The Pulsa. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> Wingardium Leviosa. Accio, the pulsa. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa.
I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. Dead end. Must be another way in. Capulso! Guardian Leviosa. That looks as if it might raise the gate. Wingardium Leviosa. Capulso. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. The Pulsar. Wingardium Leviosa. Depulsor. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Depulsor. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. The Pulsar. Uh. 
Wingardium Leviosa. I knew you could do it. This way. I will get the door. <laughs> that is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Halo and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get... I hear them. Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! Blasted. There's got to be another way to get up to the roof. Somewhere. I hope Matty stays out of trouble. Not the safest place to sneak into. You can feed him. Mm. <laughs> Time to get 
Hamora. I hope Natty's having an easier time of it. in a wooden box! Hamora. Rebellion. the Hogwarts Express. Must be returning from an unscheduled run.
It's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? That Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> Not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Highwind before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Poppy will be relieved to know that Highwind's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. Learned of a wizard who is being harassed by Halo. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Halo down. We should speak with him together. Meet me at his home. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? When you have a moment, please stop by the Room of Requirement. Deke tells me he has something to share with you. 